Alright, here we go. Four. Who is ready for this? Hello, hello. Okay, that was very, very nice. <laughs> I'm not coming out. Louder than you've oh, ever seen. <laughs> three. One, two, three, jump up! in the studio and they're like yeah this is a show Torchwood you know da 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 and I'd been on Doctor Who Eve had done an episode of Doctor Who never and she walked in she went I got John Barrowman <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah, we did when we saw it I was so nervous it was ridiculous and what, I went in and <laughs> Me when I'm on set, so back off. 
because this is my Cumberbatch and not you. But it was, it was very nice, very generous to them. And then, uh, who else was there that day? There was, um... um Did he come on to you and go, Oh, hi, John. Um, that's your baby or two. <laughs> yes. That's exactly what he did. I wish I was John Barrowman. <laughs> I thought you were better uh, so at Cumberbatch. It was, it was good fun. He's a, he's a lovely guy. I've actually... we I, First time I met Benedict, he was doing um, uh, War Horse. You. <laughs> 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 she just goes under the table. Uh, get away... Oh, good. <laughs> You know what? You know it's a peach. A peach right now. My nieces are sitting right here. They're looking at me like this. The torch He was. Oh, thank you. So I bought a couple of bottles of Berkeley Co, right? And oh, wait, you know, yeah, I don't do the cheap stuff. Right? <laughs> Thanks to you guys. <laughs> I'm being honest. Got it. Uh, and so, so they took they took a bottle. They like let's have a chugging contest with. <laughs> this, is, this is the kind of girl that Eve is because that later that night they both got hit by a taxi and proceeded to beat the taxi driver up. <laughs> house here oh my god <laughs> anyway jumping to us in germany we are out uh we decided hey, let's, let's not jump to us in germany no let's jump to germany <laughs> let's do okay let, before john says anything a week later i was getting married i just had to let off a pissed. <laughs> so we had our own little bachelor bachelorette evening right so we're we're dancing we're having some drinks and, and everybody it's about three in the two or three in the morning and everyone's going five Five in the morning. And everyone's going, we're going to bed, we're going to bed. And I'm like, we're going up to my room, Eve, we're going to my room. She said, what are we going to do in your room? I said, we're going to my room, and we're going to have some more to drink. And then we're going to jump around, and we're going to have some fun. Get into my room, we put on the Mumford and Sons. What did we do? Like anybody else, we started dancing. But no, we took all our clothes off. We up the windows in the hotel room. <laughs> now, I had black eyes. <laughs> so did I. I was hit with everything. Yep. She, she was hit. <laughs> you didn't complain in the evening. <laughs> so 
about two hours, say about six o'clock in the morning, then we decided, as we always do, let's just get some sleep and just cooch together, which is Welsh for cuddle. So we get in bed and we cuddle. Then we're about another hour later, severely hanging. We get up and we're like, we gotta go down to breakfast. So we go down to breakfast and all the other celebrities are there. And we're like, morning, morning. And they're like, morning. Why is everybody looking at us so weird? Um, good show last night. Excuse me, what do you mean good show? Well, we could hear you dancing and jumping around till like six in the morning. You were having a good time, but the whole hotel saw you. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? He said, you opened your windows, but you didn't realize there was mirrored glass in the building across the street. We could see you. <laughs> <laughs> this one, this one just went. <laughs> and I proceeded to just pee myself. <laughs> Completely naked and got busted for it. <laughs> and uh, I'll do it again tonight. And I'll do it again tonight too. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, I'll get you a copy. Thank you, Johnny B. You're welcome. Yeah, I was wondering uh, when James Marsters was on uh, Torchwood, what was it like kissing him? Yes. <laughs> All I could see is he had such soft skin. Oh my God. But, but <laughs> now, what what James always says, and what James is a uh, uh, really, he, he, what he said to me when we were doing it, he came up and he said, "I never realized you were such a manly man, John." And I went, "Excuse me," and he said, "Your stubble is burning." The <laughs> that by this time of the day when you've been shooting I get uh, quite a bit, a bit of well it's not much but feel that yep yep just a bit and I, I was not going I was going oh it's the one and only time I'm going to get to really snog spikes with <laughs> My sister was texting me the time going, kiss him harder, one for one. And I'm going to text my sister back going, ooh, but so right. <laughs> yeah, so he, it was that, yeah. So that's, that's my Scottish accent, right? Would you like to hear mine? <laughs> what you don't know is Eve's dad was actually born in Glasgow also and is from Glasgow. And when I first met Eve, she... Oh, you dirty, dirty girl. <laughs> you know, see that we lost me? When I first, first met her dad, he's always, John, you're a great guy, but see, take care of my lassie. <laughs> take care of my lassie. Because if you don't, I'll fucking get your head in. <laughs> It's off. Good. Good. I love that you're laughing. She, the, the, she can move her, her... I told her to tell everybody she can move her, her chair with mind control. But it turns out she moves it with... You know, she moves it with her head, so she's laughing and she's moving her head back and she's going to run somebody over. I also... Uh, I also... Um, I'm not sure if you're interested, but... Um, I also got to kiss my... <laughs> Because you were drunk. Uh, nothing, nothing to do with work. <laughs> she wasn't married at that time. I wasn't married at that time. No, I um, it's it's okay. I'm living in Boston. No, I um, I got to kiss him. I'm, I'm okay. Between us, guys in the room, don't tell anybody, especially James Masters. But I made sure I screwed it up every time. <laughs> so I went, oh, that wasn't right. You might have to do it again, eh? <laughs> John's like pissing himself. I keep forgetting when I do these panels, I forget that I'm not in a room full of my best friends. <laughs> 
screen was not really difficult for us. It, was not, it, it wasn't acting because we were losing family members, we were losing team members, we were losing other people who built that show with us and we were devastated, both of us. So that scene with Tosh, with Owen, um, when Gareth went, we, uh, I actually said to the, the producers, I said, look, put me under Put him under number 11, which is uh, the number, which is my birthday. Put me, put me under number 13, which was the day my mother was born. And uh, Eve then would be the one to reveal. And for me, that's the little Easter eggs of, of, the, of that kind of stuff. Now, Eve, being Gwen, knows that Jack is going to come back to life. So she's not really worried about pulling back his, his plastic. But the day that she did it, I had... A little mustache on it. <laughs> she pulled it back and I'm like, yeah, ta 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 ta. She's like, bastard. <laughs> but then I get up with her and we go over to Garris. And honestly, we pulled it back and we were just. We, we wept because, you know, it, it was losing another family member. That was the. For me, that was one of the emotional kind of things. Would you agree? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely horrific. And I think she's a big girl. <laughs> Give me a hug. <laughs> yeah, those scenes are very difficult. I mean, when John had to uh, pack uh, Tashika's desk up, and I, um, oh, I did Tashika's, and uh, you did Owen. I did didn't Owens. You? It yeah. was horrendous. It was awful, and they were back in our trailers when we did it. We were back, and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, hold me! <laughs> Touch me! We have time for one yes. last question. There's a guy up there who's almost exploding. <laughs> yes, in the uh, back. Yes. Right, I gotta ask, who made the final call on suspenders and effects? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that doesn't make good. Actually, that was my my thing because when Russell, myself, and Ray. Uh, Holman uh, got together and talked about Jack's look. I wanted to incorporate, obviously he was RAF, he was part of the Canadian division that came over for the RAF, which is why he wore a specific, a specific watch, a specific jacket, because it was given to that division of the RAF. The, the suspenders and the belt, because he was at one point in his life, and it's part of what I was growing up, a Midwestern farm boy. I mean, I wasn't a farm boy, but I grew up in the Midwest. So, in the Midwest, it was very traditional, and if you look at a lot of Amish guys sometimes, they wear belt with suspenders. So it is something that has been done, it was a, a thing, and Ray said to me, the, the designer said, if we do this, it might get, 
you know, ridiculed. I said, I don't give a shit if it gets ridiculed. We're making a little bit of a statement and making him unique and different from everybody else. And that's why I chose to do both. Because without suspenders and a belt, Jack's pants are hard to keep up. <laughs> Playing Jack Harkness. <laughs> <laughs> I love on a Friday night playing Gwen Cooper. 